We are not going to achieve interstellar flight in our lifetime. Boo! We yeah, it says you! Far from reaching other stars, as Leonardo da Vinci was from Da Vinci! I think I'm kind of seeing something coming together here. We're on the right track. Oh, Listen, listen, Drifter. If JC is first in the world on Garad Crow V, anything is fucking possible. Uh, try Black Ops 1 names? Mm. Okay. Um... I assume, I assume the order that he's uh, so the like put the redacted words together, bro. I'm gonna make a whole new paragraph. Yeah, people have seen the match yet. Stop. Yeah, stop. On February 5th, 1958, near Savannah, during a practice exercise, I've played like a random fish. One day it might just go, yo, what's up? <laughs> Bienvenidos! Bienvenidos! I like Call of Duty. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff But bro, don't waste your time no more Who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? I don't- <laughs> Open, drop, save I can't, I can't And then it just plays the Bond Takes Spawn <laughs> We've only begun Bond Takes Spawn uh, wait to decay show and you guys. This is me being weird as usual, but yeah Oh I my gosh, is it zombies? Finally! Oh my god! Finally! We actually got some teasers! What is this? Is this a grenade? This looks like a battery or something. So first off, what's the first image that we have? Um, we have all the boys after World War II. What is this? This looks like a perk machine. No, no, it's not. This is, this is a handle. No, it's like a battery or something. It's small. It's small. He's holding it in his hand. It's like some sort of grandfather clock arc looking deal. You never ever chat. Tell me when you play Call of Duty Zombies that you see this type of image where you see a clump of hoarded up zombies. You never actually see this. This tells me that the way that this system is going to progress is way different because nine in the pet. No, no, no. But listen. I'm talking- I'm not talking about scenic, like, surrounding zombies. I'm talking, like, when you kill a horde of zombies, you know how they, like, basically instantly disappear? We've never actually seen something like this. Where it's like, they're piled and clumped upon each other. They constantly despawn. So I wonder for this next game, will the bodies actually remain? Will we do something with the bodies in gameplay? It's a really interesting picture to tweet out because on first glance, it's pretty dull. But when you actually think about it, it could mean something. There's more memory. There's more, more incentive to just actually play through it without having your system blow up. You know, because I know a lot of people used to scale down their settings. So it's a cool image. But other than that, it's a bunch of dead bodies. Not much. But I think the most interesting image is definitely this one. It's definitely this one. Uh, number one, chat, does does anybody have a guess on what this is? To me, this looks like something I've seen on, like, Rick Toffin's back on his, like, teaser trailer. Is it a trap? A Geiger counter? Let's look that up. Kind of. It kind of looks like it. A little. It detects ionizing radiation, such as alpha particles, beta particles, and gamma rays. Interesting. What would you guys take from that? It's something to do with radiation. Is there gonna be radiation in zombies? And it's interesting because this image has the the meter or the needle right in the middle of the graph. So I would I would imagine that that would suggest that it is a radioactive. Bro, if we're measuring radiation, that could be kind of cool. I hope it's not like Burger Town though, where it like secludes you off of one side of the map. I hope it actually has some sort of depth into it. There's a handle into this as well. This handle is making me realize that it's probably some sort of equipment. So if there's an equipment that measures radiation, does that go back into this image? The hazmat suits. Oh, fuck. You're right. The hazmat zombies. Oh, so that does mean there's going to be some sort of elements of radiation. You probably whip it out like a heartbeat sensor. You check for the radiation counter. And then you see that's super interesting so i guess this is a new piece of equipment it looks like you can turn it on or off as well it looks like it, it dropped something as well in this bottom compartment i don't know what 
But yeah, it looks like the time bomb. So it does look like a piece of equipment. Why though? Well, dude, we've, we've seen evidence of hazmat zombies. We've seen evidence of some sort of gas. Like, I have a feeling it's going to be a major part into this next map. I wouldn't be surprised. This looks like a cinematic shot. I wouldn't be surprised if this is a gameplay trailer. If this is part of the gameplay trailer, like he whips out the radiation, the Geiger count meter, and he looks at it and he's like, okay. Guys, Chernobyl took place in modern day Ukraine. And the image that we got yesterday was suggestive of Poland. And I could imagine that if they're going to be doing a Nocturne Totem, they'd be putting it somewhere in like modern this day is Russia clearly or pre -recorded. Yugoslavia. Maybe it's like a radiation timer, like it gives you immunity to it and then you can do something with that. I don't know. Could they have died to radiation at this point? I'm not sure. It could be a possibility. But from what we're seeing, it's all, this is all suits of like actual zombies. I believe- I'm so excited for what is to come. That the 28th is the last day. I really believe it, chat. There's no way, there's absolutely no way they would reveal it alongside season six. They know they have another dedicated audience to appease for that for season six Warzone. The 28th has to be the last day. We haven't even looked at the last image yet. And honestly, I don't really know what to gather from this image. Number one, it's either... Dude, this zombie looks so Kino Jototen, it's ridiculous. Let's look that up for a second. Or like Ascension. No, no, no. It looks more Ascension. It looks so similar. It's literally the exact same. Uh. Look at the collar here. And then look at the collar there. This is literally the exact same. The only they even have the belt. This one just has a buckle. Look, he has a. This is the exact same zombie. It's a five zombie. With a, it's also interesting, chat, because it kind of looks this scene like the origins cutscene. You can clearly tell that this guy here is uninfected. You can definitely tell that this guy is uninfected, and he's running away from the zombies as like it's happening as the outbreak is happening so and also chat a lot of people don't know this also what is this blue thing this could be the meteorite this could be this could be 115 they literally landed into another uh a meteorite sector in russia it has to make sense this to me it either looks like some random person from the uh like i guess for a cinematic to show that there's a zombies outbreak or oh my god bruh i'm gonna giazo something for you guys and you guys are literally gonna be wilding that's a big ass fucking man that's a big ass fucking man there's literally a huge ass thing standing there that's literally the that's a boss zombie a hundred fucking ten percent it's fucking massive look how big its legs are Holy shit, it's huge. That's, dude, that's, I bet you, what this guy is looking at. He's not even looking at the this zombie. He's looking at this massive being to the left. What the hell is that? Where's the sword? You guys are saying sword? Oh, yeah, there's the sword. The zombie is not holding it. It looks almost as if he's dropped it or if it's, like, sticking from out the ground. So, first off, we know either that there's some sort of radiation. We have a better memory system in zombies with the bodies being able to clump up like that. We have not seen that. Uh, we know that they are either have the Origins outfits or the Ascension slash 5 outfits because those two zombies maps, Ascension and 5, were happening at the same time. 1963. So, it is still in the timeline of Cold War. So, it's from the 60s to the 80s. Uh, I, do, I do believe it's not Origins either. But yeah, so... Again, we probably, this is probably also taking place in Nocturne Toten, obviously, where we saw it in the teaser. This is a Geiger counter. It can be turned on and off. It looks like you have to crank it. It looks like it's some sort of equipment. Maybe it tells you how much time you have in the radiation. We know that because it's got the hazmat suits. This is also a big chunker of a hand. I don't want to be that guy, but it does look like a male hand. So, at least we know that we're getting some sort of male character. Whose hand is it? I don't know. This is a really interesting image in and of itself because it suggests a whole new way of zombies being played. Also, this part of the image shows like this crease in the wall or this separation. 
So obviously, like I say, I'm saying, you can see that there's an archway here. This is obviously some sort of fancy building where you obtain this device or something. And then lastly, this is the most confusing one. We have Ascension slash 5 textured zombies. We have either a railing or a sword going into either a rail or a crease or something. It goes and does something. Quite possibly the most interesting part of this entire image is we can literally see the boss zombie standing tall right here. It's hard to notice, but this is some sort of boss zombie and you can tell because he's looking at it and he's shooting this guy and this guy is looking the opposite way. So the whole scene is an absolute catastrophe. It's chaos. I don't understand what's going on. It's hard to tell what is on this right side. It looks like some sort of machinery or some sort of billboard where you click buttons on or something. I don't know. Dude. <laughs>